Hey, Inkscape. Hi, Ken. So, I uh, got another image. Can you trace this as an outline for me? <laughs> um, so, selected the image. Path, trace outline. Close this and open it again. There, all fresh. Trace outline. Trace outline. Ah! This is supposed to be fun. Okay, I'm gonna quit everything. Just go. And um, start over. I Inkscape. New image. I can. Image. Open. Selected. Trace outline. Oh my god. Um, okay. It's a PDF. It's already a vector. Joyce, one of our viewers wrote in and said, George, I'm trying to convert this image to an SVG, and I'm not having any luck. Can you help? I said, sure. Send it to me, and I'll take a look. So she sent me this Adobe PDF file, and I opened it in Inkscape. Let's do that now together. I selected the defaults and clicked OK. And there's the image. So I go up to Path, Trace Bitmap. I have it selected. I click OK, and nothing happens. Well, come to find out, Adobe PDF images can be made up of vector images. And Inkscape won't trace another vector image. So you have to convert it into a raster image or a bitmap image first which sounds a little complicated, but is really rather easy. So let's get out of Inkscape. And we're going to come to the original file, which is an Adobe PDF file. Now you can either open this in an Acrobat Pro if you own it, or an Acrobat Reader, which is the free version of Acrobat. Once you have it open, just go to File, Save As, image, and you can select any of these. My favorite is PNG because it makes the file size smaller and keeps a high image quality. So select where you want to save it and just click save. That's all you have to do. Close Adobe Acrobat. Let's run Inkscape again. And this time when we import the file, we're going to point it at the PNG file. And we're going to say that we want to link it. Let's resize it. If you hold down control when you resize, it'll keep the aspect ratio also in Inkscape. Now let's zoom in a little bit. We have it selected. Now when we go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and click OK, you're going to see it actually did something. If we click on it and move it, and you select the node pointer, it created the trace outline. So now we can get rid of the original. Let's move this back onto the page, get rid of the trace bitmap window, say path, break apart, ta-da! That's all you have to do. Sometimes Adobe PDF files are like this, and all you have to do is save them as a PNG or JPEG or TIFF file and then import them into Inkscape. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? You never asked. A lot of help you are. Mm -hmm.